Uh, Miss Horn, I know you get this an awful lot, but um, Mr. Gaines thinks he remembers meeting you. Well, if he's as good a cook as you say he is, I'll go along with anything. Oh, good. Mr. Gaines, you have a customer. The pit is closed. Someone who was very hungry, Mr. Gaines. Kimberly Reese, the pit is closed. Oh, my goodness. Where is she? I've looked everywhere. I'll go look upstairs for you, okay? Okay. Lena, Miss Horn. Lena. Whitley. Whitley. I can only tell the president of the university that Miss Horn is in the ladies' room for so long. Now, where is she, Whitley? I, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think I've lost Lena <laughs> You've lost one of the seven wonders of the world? <laughs> hey. You don't understand, then she was right there, and then she was gone. Now, I know the ceremony starts in an hour, and, and worst of all, it's beginning to rain outside. I can't go on. <laughs> Everything I had is gone. I know. Storm so me was <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Go. Bacon powder biscuits, chicken fricassee, fricassee, with dumplings and greens. And how you like that okra, Delina? It's just like I love it with lots of butter and salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gaines, yeah. are you married? Yes, but uh, <laughs> you make me an offer. <laughs> You're the kind of man who could really stick to my ribs. Uh, <laughs> Kimberly. Did I tell you about the first and only time that I met Lena Horne mm -hmm. back in Korea? You know, that was World War II. In World War II. I had a picture of Lena Horne in my footlocker. I never will forget the time that you came to sing for the soldiers at Fort Riley. Do you remember that, I Lena? I always loved singing for the <laughs> truth. Not this time you didn't. She came on stage, Kimberly, to find the Negro soldiers were stuck way behind the German prisoners of war. You got so mad, you refused to perform for that reception. Uh -huh. I was the one that gave you that chicken noodle soup in the mess hall. Had stars in it. I think you had a little more hair then, didn't you, baby? Yes, I did. <laughs> See, I told you she remembered. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, Miss Horn, I don't know how to thank you. But I really do remember that. I really do. And the way they treated our troops, it teed me off. <laughs> Reese, where have you been? It's raining cats and dogs out here, you see? I want you to meet my boyfriend, Spencer. This is Lena Horn. Hello. What a feast. Oh, well, come on, join us. It's oh, no. Fun. I meant a feast of beauty. Oh, I love a man with dress. <laughs> Lena, you know what I miss most about the good old days? The Saturday night. And I still can do a mean lending. Oh, listen. There's nothing more boring than two old cards limping down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> see? That's it. Right there, like oh, Mr. Gaines, you can take a couple of lessons from Miss Horn. Oh, oh Miss Horn. Okay. Oh, uh, where's you? Okay. Come on down here and try to open. Uh, 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 no, it's okay. I, I just want to make sure you're all right. Y'all keep on having fun. <laughs> Listen, I'm really sorry. I knew you were worried and everything, but it was raining outside. How could you do this to make him fun? And more importantly, how could you do this to Miss Horn? Hey, Whitley, look, she's having fun. And look at Mr. Gaines. Look at that. Yes, if heartburn isn't enough, you have to subject her to Mr. Gaines. Whitley, how can you admire Lena for being a survivor and not honor Mr. Gaines for the same thing? How could you compare this great lady with some sweet old man that's losing his mind? You know something's too bad you don't know the answer to that. 